Tonight, we're hearing once again from the family of Alyssa Taylor, a missing mother from Virginia. They believe she may have died in a crash that killed a truck driver along Interstate 85 in North Carolina. CBS 17's Bria Hollingsworth live for us tonight from the North Carolina Highway Patrol with that part of the story, as well as some uh, new 911 calls that we got of this crash. Rod, Angela, the family told me that they spent time talking with investigators here at the North Carolina Highway Patrol as well as other agencies. Earlier today, they took a trip to Emporia, Virginia to see if they could get any more information there. And like you mentioned, we're also hearing those 911 calls for the first time. Two pieces of evidence in the disappearance of Virginia native Alyssa Taylor, a flip-flop and a blanket. The front of the truck. Alyssa's aunt Shelly Payton took this video while on the hunt to figure out what happened, and they haven't stopped searching since. We have been to the wreck site. We have been to the EMS station. We have been to the fire station. On September 13th, Alyssa Taylor sent this text to her mother, Krista, saying, I'm riding with Danny in a tractor trailer for two days. It was the last correspondence from her daughter, and she hasn't heard from her since. According to her family, Alyssa had gotten in a semi truck to ride with truck driver Danny. Daniel McNeil from Virginia to North Carolina. The family says the two were friends. So she was going to ride with him. He was delivering some chicken, so she was going to take a ride with him. The next day, the North Carolina Highway Patrol responded to a crash on I-85 near the NC-86 bridge. A tractor trailer overturned, catching fire. Oh, it's got an alarm location of Earth. Hey, we got a fire up here going 90, going 85. North, or 85 North, this fire. Investigators found the body of Daniel McNeil and his dog Blue. At that point, that is when she knew, you know, that's who Alyssa was with, that Danny was dead, that he had died in a truck accident. That's when she got upset. That's when she got worked up because she knew Alyssa was with him. But no trace of Alyssa. A true mystery her family and investigators in Virginia and North Carolina are trying to solve. We can't mourn without, you know, without closure. And the Accomack Sheriff's Office in Virginia is investigating. The family told me that they have contacted everyone from the FBI to the mayor of Hillsborough to the governor's office. In Raleigh, Brea Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News. All right, very interesting case here. All right, Brea, thank you.